Hey everyone, this is Mike from JetAdmin, and in this video we'll learn how to connect Airtable. One great thing about Airtable compared to Google Sheets, for example, is you don't have to worry too much about preparing your data because Airtable forces the proper structure, the proper grid structure, so there is no option to merge cells, for example. And the only thing I'd like to note here is that when you have multiple views, JetAdmin will also connect to the default all collection view. So, but don't worry if you have other filters that you have in your Airtable that you want to bring into JetAdmin, you'll be able to recreate that easily inside of JetAdmin after you've connected Airtable. All right, let's get started. Just minimize. And to get started, we click on the Airtable icon. And the only thing we need to do here is to obtain our API key and you need to click here into the account and click account. It will open up another page. And in this page, you scroll down a little bit and you copy and paste this key here. And what we need to do is just copy and paste it. And once we've copied and pasted it, we'll get to choose a base. And another cool thing about Airtable integration is that you can actually work with multiple bases. You can work across multiple bases, which is not possible in Airtable. You can't link across different bases. In JetAdmin, you can do it. So great, we choose our base and then just click Add Resource. And once again, we have our mode prompt. If you want to learn more about each mode, refer to the dedicated video. In this video, we'll just highlight one important point here is that if you want to create graphs or charts inside of JetAdmin with Airtable, you have to go with a sync because direct connection does not allow it. So we'll go with a sync. All right, and it's importing our data. It's gonna take maybe a few minutes and it's done. Great. And we just once again, skip our template model, go back to our Airtable. And here's our data. So I had three tables, three collections here, and all of those collections have been important. So now I can start working with them. Great. So that was it. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great one.